leader to respond. Uh, and thank you to those who have raised uh, issues on the order of business. I just want to note the presence of uh, Councillor Mike Hubbard in the, in the uh, gallery and to welcome him um, from, from Galway. Um, uh, Senator Arda raised the issue of home, packages, home care packages and the fact that there is a long waiting list and you know, nearly 200 people on a waiting list in Dublin is very unsatisfactory. Um, it does strike me as an issue that might be worth putting down as a commencement debate. Um, I don't know the um, details, uh, specific details um, on that, and certainly it does seem to be a funding issue. And indeed, if the order of business is anything to go by, um, there are plenty of issues that we could have the Minister for Health in to discuss, that being one of them. Um, then the secondary school educate together. I don't want to keep saying this, but there were at least six times where I thought this is suitable for a commencement debate. Um, this morning on the order of business, but um, clearly uh, there is a campaign for an Educate Together school which seems, from what you say, to be uh, very much required in the Dublin 2, 8 and 12 area. Um, it would strike me also, as I said, uh, that, that you might get a, a very satisfactory answer if you were to put that matter down for, for commencement debate, but I certainly can relay your concerns to the Minister. And Senator Lawless um, has raised a very important issue of driver's licence uh, for uh, asylum seekers and referred to uh, that very important judgment um, of Justice Donal O'Donnell and I would agree with him um, that this is something that needs to be looked at and uh, I do think that we could debate that issue here in the House with the Minister for Transport um, in, in the near future and uh, Senator Nash also supported him on that issue. Uh, Senator Nash raised the issue of the Flemish decree case in the EU courts and it's an issue that I've been looking into myself recently and there is a certain unfairness at the core of that. So I will come back to uh, the Senator once I speak to the Minister about that because that's something that I think um, needs to be looked at where people can't build in areas where they have lived for numbers of years and, and uh, people belonging to them. Uh, Senator O'Donnell, as, as I've heard him raise numerous times, the case of Emma D'Souza and um, it, it is re very relevant in the context of the Brexit debate and something, I suppose, when you say that you're await anyone's awaiting a review by May, I can't imagine her focus is on that just at the moment, uh, but it seems that perhaps isn't going to even happen regardless. So um, it's something that I will bring to the attention of the Minister um, and it's clearly an unsatisf uh, unsatisfactory situation that citizens' rights that are intended in the Good Friday Agreement are, aren't being implemented, so I understand your frustration with that. Um, Senator Feehan raised uh, the Brexit developments and complimented those involved in bringing us to a point where there is a, another interim solution. It's a little like Groundhog Day, I think, the whole thing, but um, you know, for, for our part, I think we have done our bit in supporting the UK in getting the best results that they, that they can. Um, then Senator Layden raised the issue of, um, I'm trying to find the name of the property, but it's a, it's a home in, um, in Roscommon. And all I can say is that I know for a fact that Senator Hopkins, because I spoke to her about it recently, has been working for, very hard on this issue, as has Minister Daly, Minister Harris and the Taoiseach's office for the past year and a half and there is a need for um, constructive and, and proactive action um, but we need answers in terms of how we support these res residents and deal with the future of this unit. So um, it would strike me as an issue also that would be worthwhile raising on a commencement debate. Senator Burke raised uh, the issue of um, the health service uh, supervisory role and I think um, that the debate that he suggests on supervisory mechanism particularly in the private sector is a very good suggestion and as usual Senator Burke is very much in tune with uh, the health service. Um, Senator Horkin raised the issue of cycling and I commend him for doing so. It's a no-brainer what she suggests that we have a debate on that. It's disappointing to see that numbers would be reducing because, it, uh, like you, I feel that there's m there are more people on bikes, but, um, you know, maybe there aren't. But uh, certainly um, a debate, and they could be a, that could perhaps be a linked debate on activity generally um, and cycling um, because obviously it's, you know, the, and the point that you make about cyclists are 
drivers being frustrated with cyclists and not treating them as well as they might um, is very, um, you know, it's not something that a lot of them actually think that, oh, thank God he's on a bike, because otherwise I'd be a long, longer time uh, on, on the road waiting at traffic lights, etc. So I think that debate would be very worthwhile. Um, Senator Byrne raised the MS Society and the need for a specialist nurse in Limerick. Um, and, uh, you know, the fact that there are three or four are, really are necessary and one has been promised, you know, it seems to be a funding issue and going back to other contributions from other senators, it's something that we clearly could raise here uh, with the Minister on a debate. So I think there is a need for the Minister for Health to come into the House sooner rather than later. And it does strike me in, in failing that, that it, it would be a good issue to raise on a commencement debate. Senator Gallagher raised the cross-border health directive unit and I think it's a very important issue you raise. It is an excellent uh, initiative because I spoke to somebody recently who had had a hip um, operation and it all went very smoothly and perhaps they weren't as concerned as others might be about getting the the refund quickly and that's a huge issue for people can it, it can be up to 10 or 15 thousand euros that you're talking about so um, it does need to be fast-tracked does strike me as an issue that would be suitable for a commencement debate um, to get a more specific answer from the Minister on it. Um, Senator Mullen, I think we all, um, you know, in watching how things developed yesterday, were frustrated uh, with what unfolded at the committee uh, where the FAI were in and the idea that anyone in there who's there to facilitate and to help the committee in coming to conclusions and to getting to the bottom of an issue could just use legal advice and show an unwillingness to answer questions. I think it's extremely frustrating. Um, and, you know, I think the, the Cahirlux point about us reviewing this issue at CPP, I think, is probably the most appropriate place in the CPP of the Shannon and the Dáil. Um, but indeed, as you say, there is an, a necessity to empower committees in, in that sense. And, Final point. Yeah. We need to go to inquiry stage. We can see the limitations of a committee now. It's yeah, no, I'm time. coming to your final point about yeah. an inquiry, um, and that's, that's, for, that's above my pay grade as such, um, as to whether there will be such an inquiry. But when you see what happened yesterday, um, unless there are serious changes in the, in the FAI, you'd imagine there, there just has to be an inquiry. But I can't imagine how the FAI will leave a committee like that after all that was put to them and not seriously change how they do business. Um, but indeed, there may be political intervention, and if there is, it's something that I would welcome. Senator Norris raised um, the issue of Julian Lassange and um, that's just unfolding. I'm not sure of the exact details but um, as he says there are potential serious human rights issues and no doubt it's something that our Department of Foreign Affairs are keeping an eye on. So that concludes the responses to the order of business. Thank you. Order of business agreed to.